Hi, my name's Scott Roger from Blair Varick and today I want to run through a quick experiment with Morse code. First of all, Morse code is a communication method invented in the 1930s by Samuel Morse. Um, and from there, it has slightly changed up to modern day, and this is the international Morse code that we're going to be using. Morse code is a series of dots and dashes that can be used to communicate different letters of the alphabet. Now, Morse code looks really random, um, and it looks as if there's no pattern to why there's dots and why there's dashes. But actually, when they invented it, they reckoned that if they used more dots and fewer dashes, then messages could be a lot shorter. Now hopefully, before we've started this, you all, all have a copy of the alphabet for Morse code in front of you. And what we're going to do is we're just going to have a look at different ways of communicating using Morse code and a couple of ways that it can be used. So it's almost like um, a secret language or a secret code um, that we can communicate with each other or we can communicate with people in uh, faraway places. So at the moment, um, Morse code is really only used by um, enthusiasts like radio operators, although it's very, very good in an emergency situation for signaling for help. So we'll have a look at the alphabet. We'll have a look at different letters and different ways that we could use it. So with the alphabet here, um, we have lots of different dots and lots of different dashes. And the first thing we could do is we could sit down and we could work out um, small words. So the, the word cat, for instance, we would write down a dash, a dot, a dash, and a dot for the letter C. For the letter A, we would have a dot and a dash. And for the letter T, we would have a dash. If we wrote all that down in sequence, that would give us the word cat. We can also work out our own name. So if you work out dots and dashes, you need to write down your name. You can write your name down in front of you. Now, if you go out into the garden or um, you can play in the house, um, somebody at each end of the hall or at different ends of the room, you can go out into the park, somebody sits at one tree and somebody sits at the other, and you can use a whistle. So for a dash, you make a long whistle, and for a dot, you make a quick, short whistle. Um, you can also use a torch. So I actually don't have a whistle, but I do have a torch. So if I was going to write cat, I would hold dash, let go, dot, let go, dash, let go, dot, and that's the letter C. As you would have noticed, I did a longer one for a dash and a shorter one for a dot, and that helps me to spell out the words of the letter C. For the letter A, it would be a quick one, so it's a dash, uh, so rather a dot, and then a dash. So that's the letter A, and then for the letter T, I would hold it, there's my dash, and I would let go. So this is the, the basis of Morse code, so it can be used to signal, but actually the, the one that most people know with Morse code is SOS. So if we look up the letter S, so initially it is three dots, one, two, there's three, we'll try that again, one, two and three dots, one, two, three dashes, and one, two, and three dots. And this is the international sign for help, which is SOS. The best way to learn this 
Let's take a copy of our alphabet here and go out and practice outside signalling to your friends either with whistle or with noises or with a torch. Um, and then we need to write down the dots and the dashes and then work out which letters they are. So get yourself a torch, get yourself a pen, get yourself a piece of paper and go and make some secret quotes. Enjoy.